Hey guys, I'm Sherry Bass today in Watcher of Realms. That's right, it's a brand new video and a brand new YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you guys. I have a whopping one subscriber here, yours truly, uh, at the time of this recording, hopefully a few more at the end of this recording. Uh, but this is just kind of a, a very generic, basic, uh, why am I making this YouTube channel? How did I kind of fall in love with this game? Very serendipitously, I may add, I never intended to really play any other game out there. If you look back at my track record, I've never gotten into any other gacha game ever. I've never started multiple channels for, you know, there's a billion of them out there. There's Dragon Air now, uh, there's Dragon Champions, there's Mythical, whatever. There's been a lot. There's been a lot, right? I've never gotten roped into any except for Watcher of Realms. Now, what happened was, I'll kind of show you my account a little bit too. I'll talk really basics about the game. Expect, by the way, a ton of content here on the channel, right? I've been playing on the DL a lot. I've actually gotten a, a pretty good understanding of the game, how it works, uh, who the heroes are, who's good, who's not. Uh, but I have a long way to go as well, so you guys can kind of learn with me, especially in the early days of this channel. I'll show you a few of my uh, my favorite heroes as well right now, some of my most used. I would say my number one favorite hero in the game is Yona. Uh, really a big fan, and hey, we need to max out her level. I just got her to level 60, maxed out. So, hey, I'll pat myself on the back a little bit, right? Anyway, expect a, a lot of guides and rankings and and really, uh, especially a lot of beginner content, right? Because I imagine a lot of you guys, most of you guys are probably going to be beginners in this game as well. Uh, and I have a lot of tips, a lot of mistakes that I made along the way that you guys can avoid. Not to say that I'm even, you know, I'm barely even, I won't even say mid game right now in the game, but why did I fall in love with it, right? Well, first of all, you guys did. You guys fell in love with it first, right? So, uh, and I say that because I put out this video on my main, on my raid YouTube channel, and I got so many comments, you guys, dude, I love Watcher of Realms, I love Watcher of Realms, put out more content on the game, I'm thinking to myself, geez, if my subscribers, my viewers love it this much, and I never get that many comments to play other games, I just don't get it on my channel, because I don't play a lot of other games, but it was, it was overwhelming, so I was like, okay, you know what, I'll give it a shot, and this is about, again, maybe two or three months ago, and I, I fell in love with the game too. And here's the reason why. This is, by the way, not indicative of how I feel about Raid at all. I'm not stopping to play a Raid or anything like that, just to be very clear with you guys. Uh, to me, this is the perfect game to play alongside Raid Shadow Legends because the gameplay is so incredibly different. Uh, there's a lot more strategy involved in, in Watcher of Realms. There really is because there's it's, it's, like a, it, it's more of a, a tower defense game, right? But... All the upgrade mechanics, ascension, skills, artifacts, all that kind of stuff is the same as Raid. So if you're a Raid player, you'll be able to pick this up, do the tutorial. It's a long tutorial, but it's not annoying. It just kind of walks you through everything. It will take you maybe a couple hours, you know, but you'll actually have a pretty good understanding of how you play the game after that, right? Uh, but this game is only a few months old now. It's not even a year old. And the, the, the stuff that it has inside of it is pretty insane. Oh, ooh, just barely won that one there. Gee whiz. Uh, it has a robust, as you can see, a, a, a very interesting PvP system. It has all, there's guilds, uh, wars, guild boss stuff. There is, I haven't done that yet, as you can tell from me stumbling around about it. I have not joined a guild. I think I want to make one. I think I want to make one. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Should I join one of you guys or should I make one myself? I think it'd be kind of cool to make one with my first 30 subscribers. I'm not going to do it on this video. I'll make a separate video about it so you guys can kind of have a heads up, right? Uh, anyway, I digress. They have a bunch of events and a bunch of, you know, all the stuff that you would expect from a game like this. But the cool thing is, look at this raid section, right? There's promotion raids to promote your, your heroes, right? There's experience raids to just get flat out experience, right? It's a little less tedious than campaign and raid. Uh, there's guild boss, as we mentioned, I don't have a guild yet, so I can't do it. Then there's gear raid. Instead of just having dungeons per se, there's different gear uh, areas, each with their own kind of levels, right? So you can kind of target what you're looking for in terms of gear. It's it, it's different, but it, it's similar at the same time. Again, it's very easy to pick this stuff up. And then there's like faction trials where you get blanket uh, stats increases across the board. And then the tide, which is totally different as well. You have to withstand like this massive trove army of monsters coming your way. I'm just going to go ahead and run a, a random campaign battle here for you guys and you'll kind of see i'm gonna auto fight it because 
Oh, I already used them all. Crap. <laughs> well, you know what, guys? We're going to do it together. So if you had never played this game before, I'm just going to run one uh, with you guys right now. So here are, we're a little bit, you know, uh, I, we're not end game or anything like that, right? But it's a little bit more complicated right now that it's going to be in the very beginning. So essentially, all we do is we have our, our heroes at the bottom here. I'll make myself a little bit smaller. Maybe I need to s switch my overlay around a little bit. But we can drag them on the board. And, and there's certain tiles that kind of like the melee troops or the ranged troops can go on. And there's enemies that spawn, just like in a tower defense game. But everybody has different abilities in A1 and A2, passives, etc. You guys are familiar with how these mechanics work. Uh, but there's a lot of strategy involved so i'm gonna i'm gonna okay i forgot even what i was trying to do on this one but i'm going to uh i didn't even notice where those guys are going which is not ideal but we're gonna do this right now we're gonna put our biggest dps down on the board okay you can see where they're gonna be spawning where they're gonna be going let's go ahead and put a tank down over here we're gonna need a healer now this spot that that uh yon is on right now she can see invisible troops, which is awesome, but it does damage to them as well. So we need a healer behind her, which we have on lockdown. So now you can see. Now, the, the best thing about this game, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the biggest tip you need to know. If things aren't going the way that you like them, you don't have to use any energy, basically, the consumption you know, uh, resource in this game. You can just restart for free, which is a lifesaver. So many times you're like, okay, you know what? I, I don't want to do that. It allows you to strategize. I don't want to do this. I want to do this instead, right? So let's get this on the board. Let's use the ultimate ability. Let's get some support over here. Then we're going to get another healer down. And now we're kind of cooking, I think. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to start using some ultimates because I don't know if it can extend there. No, 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 no. You get three enemies that can pass. But obviously, we don't want anybody to pass here. We lost our tank on this side, which really sucks. But we're going to win this. So there's 26 waves, as you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and reestablish, if you will, my tank over here. And we're going to be okay. But we really wanted three star. We wanted a perfect. You know, we didn't want anybody to get through to a blue square. You can see there's one over here, too. So basically, there's a, as you guys, guys can see, right? There's a lot of strategy involved. You want to make sure you're covering as much as the map as possible. Everybody has a little bit of a different range, right? Very, very cool stuff here. Let's go ahead and get a, a debuffer on the board. Probably really bad in terms of the order that I'm playing these heroes and whatnot. Uh, but I'm just trying to kind of explain the game as I go along. But and hopefully you can kind of grasp the basics here, right? So now we have our team kind of set up, right? We have, you can see, I'm kind of covering it right now because our ultimate abilities, they charge up. We can choose when to use them. Each enemies are a little bit different, right? So each have their strengths, their weaknesses. And so do our allies, right? Our, uh, our, our heroes are strong against certain type of enemies, weak against others. So so you'll learn as you go, of course, who's strong against which, and uh, it's just a really fun game. Now, when we go into the hero section, I'll show you really quickly there. We're going to win some rewards. I'll take them. I'll show you that just a little bit behind the scenes. Again, this is not a whole guide, but you can promote these uh, these heroes, right? And you can see like there's materials. You can see which attributes you'll be enhancing. You can also unlock new skills. For example, his passive is unlocked at promotion level three here. Uh, there's different gear. There's five gear slots. It was a little bit easier to kind of understand. Uh, and then you have your skills. You can upgrade skills. Uh, you can farm those resources. The best thing about this game is every Every resource is farmable, okay? So there's no like legendary skill tomes that there's just no way to get them. You just got to hope for RNG. Every resource you can actually get your hands on. They might be very rare drops, but you can get them just by farming. There's auto attacks the whole nine. Anyway, guys, I really love this game. Hopefully you guys do as well if you join me. I will have a download link if you guys want to. I don't even think it's, I don't even think, I'm not sure if my old link even works, but I'll include it if you want to. There might be some rewards. They might have expired as well. Either way, join me here on the channel. I invite you to subscribe. We're going to have tons of great uh, collabs as well coming to the channel, as well as all the normal stuff, right? We're going to have funny edits. We're going to have... Uh, the equivalent of shard openings. We're going to have rankings. The whole nine. It's going to be a blast. I love this game. I hope you guys will as well. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And as always, take care, guys.